Hey folks, it's Salt to fill you in on what is up this week in Warcraft and the 92nd week of Shadowlands. Oh, you you love hearing that, don't you? Hit the like button, subscribe for more WoW content, and let's dive right in. Hotfixes kept coming in throughout the week, mostly to make some of the more rough dungeons in Mythic Plus a little bit more manageable. Meanwhile, the auction house has had a few hiccups over the past week with materials and consumables being thrown on a region-wide market, bugs were expected to be found, and boy, they were found. We can probably expect more speed bumps throughout the week, however, the most pressing issues with the auction house seem to be resolved. I mean, never mind the fact that, as I write this, the auction house is down. Technically, I'm right. The first complete cycle of faded raids has come and gone, and we are back in Castle Nathria. For you slime saber hunters out there, take a look at your achievement meta and see where you're at. With any luck, as the season rolls by and folks get more gear, helpful communities will pop up and will take people on fast and easy runs to get that coveted mount. If there's only one community to suggest, it would be the Perky Pugs. They've been helping folks out with AOTC mounts since Warlords of Draenor. That was like 25 years ago, my dudes. I'll provide their Discord channel in a link below so you can quickly and easily start signing up for normal raid runs and more. By the way, for those of you who finished obtaining their first Dinar, you should already be on the quest to get your second, which requires only 20 boss kills down from 30. So there's definitely an incentive to take your mains or alts to Raid Finder, even when better gear could be found elsewhere. South Shore vs Terran Mill is the brawl of the week. It's a wonderful opportunity for fully geared gladiators to flex. The Pet Battle Bonus event also takes place, and for the EU region, you get Super Squirt Day. Again. That's gonna happen Tuesday, the day before their reset. As for US realms, well, we got... freedom. Yeah. Over in Mythic Plus World, the affixes are fortified, bursting, and storming, which I don't think is all that bad. I mean, yeah, trash is gonna take longer due to higher health pools and needing to control your kills, but storming is kind of a pushover, so I'd call this one a push week. Get it? <laughs> it's a pushover, push week, yeah. The Dragonfly Alpha continues to build with each week. Last week, all the zones were made available for testing out leveling as well as early endgame. But we're still in an alpha stage with some critical components needed before we can really move on into the beta phase. A few dungeons have yet to be previewed, but that's not as big of a deal. Demon Hunters are the last in line for talent revamps, and thus officially they are the most hated class in a while. Although, yeah, they were the newest class before Dragonflight, they're used to being hated. We're also still waiting on gathering professions and enchanting to finally show its face. I think we will see enchanting this week though, because while last week's build didn't unveil the profession itself, the names of enchants have been data mined. So from weapons to rings, cloaks, bracers, boots, and more. It seems like the standard fare, but if the other professions are of any indication, I hope there's going to be a lot more to enchanting than just augmenting gear. So demon hunters and enchanting. That's the hope for this week as we get closer to beta and the pre-expansion patch. I hope you join me for more coverage. In fact, hang out over on our Twitch channel as we try to complete the path to partner. Coffee with Soul takes place Tuesdays through Thursdays starting at 8.30 a.m. Pacific. Please drop by and say hi. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more content. Otherwise, I will see you in the next thing. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay breezy.